build the wall without one penny of taxpayer dollars. And it's legislation I've introduced. It's calling the Ensuring Lawful Collection of Hidden Assets to Protect Order Act. Now, some of you, some of the more insightful and observant ones may notice that those, those particular words are an acronym for the El Chapo Act. Now, what does the El Chapo Act do? Well, it says that we should take all of the money criminally forfeited from El Chapo and from other drug dealers and use it to pay for the wall. Now, where did this idea come from? Well, it came from actually press reports some time ago that said the total value of El Chapo's global criminal net worth was $14 billion. That's a whole lot of money. At the same time, I saw articles that said the cost to build a wall along the entire border was between 14 and $20 billion. Now, there's a natural and elegant symmetry there. What the El Chapo Act does is real simple. It takes the money, the billions that El Chapo made, crossing the border illegally, and it takes that $14 billion and it uses it to pay for the wall. And the end result is we have the wall and we have an essential element to secure the border. And critically, not one penny comes from the U.S. taxpayers. We ought to take this up. This is common sense legislation, but I'm going to make a predict prediction right now. The Democrats aren't even willing to spend El Chapo's money to build the wall because politically they don't want to secure the border. That's not reasonable. That's not listening to the American people. And it's not what we need to do. But this is an easy solution to solve the problem.